Talk TV host Piers Morgan has stepped in to defend various BBC presenters who have been falsely accused of being the unnamed star who has reportedly been suspended following allegations of paying a teenager for sexually explicit photos. BBC Radio 2's Jeremy Vine, who like others has publicly announced that he is not the unnamed man, has since thanked the former Good Morning Britain host for speaking out. Yesterday afternoon, Piers told his 8.5 million Twitter followers, it's outrageous that so many completely innocent BBC presenters like at Nick Yaa Campbell at the Jeremy Vine at Rylan etc. are all being shockingly defamed with such impunity by idiots on here. They should sue them all, he added in reference to the many Twitter users who have accused various BBC hosts of being the unnamed suspended presenter on the platform. In response, Jeremy tweeted in view of his 788,100 followers, Thank you so much for saying this, Piers. People think it's just sport with words. In fact the accusations level get us are the most serious that can be made about a person in our society. Piers then added that the actions of those accusing various presenters were not only disgusting but defamatory. Underneath his first post, Piers shared a tweet from the Metro that said, Update, Nicky Campbell admitted he had a distressing weekend after being falsely named as the man accused of paying a teenager for sexually explicit pictures. The UK is speculating on the identity of the unnamed presenter. Detectives from London's Metropolitan Police are carrying out further inquiries to establish whether any crime has been committed following the allegations that a BBC presenter paid a young person thousands of pounds for explicit images, starting when the teenager was 17. The Sun reported on Monday that the presenter, who has been suspended, had since made panicked calls to the young person after the allegations from their mother emerged. The Met said in a statement, detectives from the Met's Specialist Crime Command met with representatives from the BBC on the morning of July 10. The meeting took place virtually. They are assessing the information discussed at the meeting and further inquiries are taking place to establish whether there is evidence of a criminal offence being committed. There is no investigation at this time. A BBC spokesperson said previously, We treat any allegations very seriously and we have processes in place to proactively deal with them. As part of that, if we receive information that requires further investigation or examination we will take steps to do this. That includes actively attempting to speak to those who have contacted us in order to seek further detail and understanding of the situation. If we get no reply to our attempts or receive no further contact that can limit our ability to progress things but it does not mean our inquiries stop. If, at any point, new information comes to light or is provided, including via newspapers, this will be acted upon appropriately, in line with internal processes. i